time he's here. The first time he is. He's behind this shutter. He is. There's a grand reveal. We are about to have the grand reveal of Louis. Bring it on. Proper reveal. Do the viewers know what Louis is yet? Is this where we put in um, a really annoying ad break? They know it's yeah. a street sweeper on yeah. steroids. It's just a street sweeper. It's not on steroids. Well, I suppose it's got a name. No, they know it's, it's a, a proper sweeper. sweeper. It's a proper sweeper. Yeah, it's also quite far back. It doesn't it's quite look far back. Great. <laughs> Come on, come on! I know! There's nothing, ah! there's nothing. This is building tension. <laughs> this Wee. is ooey! Look at it. It's more ooey lud. I, but I just called it ooey. Can we put ooey. an L there? It was so, ooey lud. Basically, it's a little bit dirty because I was working on it yesterday. This is so. quite a serious thing. This is... It's not messing around. We can so properly clean. You've got a vacuum under there, which drops when you drop these, so it'll pick up all the stuff, bigger yeah. bits. Um, it's this, we'll pull it out and I'll show you how it all operates because yeah. there's like 20 different features that you probably will end up using. It sounds louder than the GT Black Series! Louis is amazing. Welcome, Louis is. Welcome to Louis. Or welcome Louis. Is Louis. Fantastic. So you've got twin jets at the front which put down water whilst okay. you're driving. Um, that will help with your dust problem. Yeah. Um, because what so this will basically do, we'll move everything out of half the garage. Yep. We'll run around with some water. It, you don't have before. to, to be fair, you can do it in bits because it doesn't chuck everything everywhere. It literally leaves a square where Louis's yeah. gone. So it's like you okay. don't have to worry about things getting dirty. You've also no, got question. this jet wash, which runs off the same water tank that the jets do. Um, so generally, as we spoke before, you'd use your jet wash the ground, just put a lot of water down because you only get a little bit down when you're using the front jets. Um, and I mean, it does, literally does everything. It does everything. Water goes in here, it's empty. It's fairly empty at the moment. Just leave a hose pipe in there. Is it a big tank? Big. Yeah, big tank. It's, it's the whole bottom of that that fills with water. Okay. Yeah. So the grey section would be the this dust is, collection. So I'll show you. So basically, what happens once you've filled it, which I don't think you will, but you're doing on the outside as well, which is probably where you'll fill it. You've got. Oh. So I don't open it all the way because I know it's got bits in it at the moment. But that is where. That is what holds whatever it picks up, basically. Okay. So it sucks it up from the ground here. Right. Right. And fills it in there. Fills it in here. And then when you keep tipping this, this all opens up. And dumps it somewhere. That all opens up and dumps it. Interesting. It's very straightforward. It's very, very, it's meant to be so that you don't have to get out of it, basically. Okay, so we, we go around to the house of people we don't like so much after we've done it. And this. dump it. We dump it. <laughs> we don't do that at all. Here. We won't, well, we won't do it here in your drive. Yeah, we'll we'll bring it back next Done, week. Yeah, it'll be full. We'll we'll rubbish. park at the front yeah. of the garage, <laughs> so we can run around the outside. But we should do inside first. Inside outside. first, because otherwise you're just going to get really dirty in there. Be this is going to be very fun, I think. It's great fun. The only thing that's very strange is driving it. It is because it because articulates it on itself. It will literally, and it's very sensitive. So you have foot on the brake. That's the brake. That's the brake. Although when, as soon as you go off the accelerator, it stops. Okay. That's the horn. <laughs> <laughs> Funny that. Funny that. You can so order the uh, the takeaway through the little window. Oh, so we can do a McDonald's drive-thru. We can do a McDonald's drive-thru. Could it's you imagine? Nice. Could you imagine taking this to a McDonald's drive-thru? Can we? You're not allowed. No. I'm not. It worked. I feel like I know how to street sweep. But now the reality of the situation is that when we get back to the museum, I think it's going to be someone that's actually doing it. So you should probably <laughs> learn how to do it. I probably should because I suspect you'll be quite happy to do so for five minutes and yeah. then realise it, it's I know going to take too long <laughs> and it's going to be left with myself and probably so, you, Brad, as well. I think I'll help you, Tom. Yes. I think between us we can get the place clean. Zach, can we hire you? <laughs> yeah, you can. Seeing as you're the expert. You can't afford me, pal. <laughs> Should we get Louis loaded up? Yes. I think we should get Louis loaded up. I think we should get Louis loaded up. Let's get it back to the museum and get it cleaned.
There are many things about this that just seem a little bit sketchy, but we do have the trailer. We have some wood lined up. Zach is responsible. I'm just, I'm just trusting that he's over. Professional. No, no one died. died. <laughs> so I'm waiting to look at it. No one died. And Very look at it, it looks perfect. I've just been sent the renders of my SF90 Stradale specification. But hold on, hold on. We can't show that yet. Let me let's just load this up and we'll see what, what comes up. We're in the middle of nowhere, so data is not the quick Oh. Hello. Let's get in the interior. Yeah, I quite like that. Yeah. This is just the biggest tease. I know. Of sorry. YouTube. This isn't like final spec, this is the request. Shall I let them look at this lovely bush while I have a look as well? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. It's really nice. Oh, that's really oh, that's nice. That's the interior. Oh, sorry, I'm failing with my phone here. Very nice. Yeah. Mm. Maybe, maybe. Probably got you some reflections in sunglasses and things. You have to check on the video. Yes. yes. I like it. Right, what are we here for? Straps. Race that's straps. These are proper race straps. So, Zach, why didn't you give us this lovely trailer for Louis? It wouldn't fit. Too because it's a lovely trailer, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> the levels of trust. What about lovely Louis? So the, the ironic thing is he'll trust you with a Koenigsegg, just not a trailer. Yeah, I wouldn't trust me with a trailer either. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible, by the way, Zach. Thank you very much. Because the plan is that we're going to be convoying in style. I'm going to be driving the G with Louis, and Zach's going to be driving the Kuntash. Yes. Something like that. But we do need to put the spare rear plate on Louis. Yes, we do. So I, like, some I can't drive home with Louis Ludd. It needs to be the same plate as on the main pulling car. Um, that's actually something that's different about the UK to most places. Most places, a trailer has a different registration to the car. We have to have the matched plate from the car on the trailer, which I know is confusing. So we're now in the Guntash driving and following Tim. We've got to stop for fuel, but basically I've got to go out to Silverstone. So I thought, well, why not follow, go to the museum in yet another one of our cars and uh, have a bit of fun there. So we're on route now. Just pulled into a services so Zach can get some more petrol in the Kuntash. Um, but while we're here, let's have a quick look at the G. Towing Louis. A very strange sight. Not your normal sight to see coming down or coming around the M25. But what a cool thing. Meanwhile, Zach's got the Kuntash out just for a quick fill up. How cool is this thing? <laughs> it's like 63p. <laughs> Point, I've not hit anything. Gosh. And this is where <laughs> this is where we stop, right? This is this is where we leave it, right in the middle. Mission success. Louis has arrived at the Schmuseum. Look at that! Did you believe it? How you was it? Bang! Just like that. Was right. Louis is a Honestly. When you're driving in a car that has 700 and something horsepower and well over a thousand newton meters of torque, this has no weight to it. When we pulled out of the pe petrol station we stopped at earlier and accelerated away from there, zero to 60, no problems. Correct. So what we're going to do? We're going to move Louis. Do you know how to drive it? Yeah. All right. Okay. That wasn't the most convincing. <laughs> yeah. He has no idea. <laughs> okay. 
Alexa, so what we're going to do... Well, I'm going to leave you guys to it, because I need to go and sit on my laptop for a bit. Good luck. See ya! <laughs> he has no confidence in us. Okay, Zach is now pumping the trailer up, whilst Brad is up there holding the brake to make sure nothing goes wrong. Come on, Zach, keep pumping. Zach, run us through Louis and so what we're doing. So Louis needs uh, basically water to operate the jet wash and the front jets to put water down. Uh, it just The only problem is it takes a very long time to fill it. So um, I'm hoping we're going to leave this hose pipe here, look at the sight glass every five minutes and uh, once it's full, it's done. Sweet. Fast forward probably an hour or so and we have some good news and we have some bad news. So of course the guys were able to unload the G and the trailer. The good news, things were starting well. The bad news, or the first bit of bad news, is what's happened here. The good news about the bad news, this is very confusing, is that this part of the floor has actually swept up really quite nicely. It is much lighter. It's a very different color to the dusty floor that we have elsewhere. We've got some sludge and horrible stuff. The bad news that you can probably see right here is that's hydraulic fluid from Louis. Louis has probably got a little bit too excited that he's here at the Museum. And yeah, so we've now got this little mess that we need to work out what to do with. If we come outside, there's even more bad news. So we've not just had one breakdown at the Museum, but kind of two breakdowns at the Museum. So let's make our way out here, where Zach is looking a little bit sheepish and go have a look at what's happened. Out here then, first bit of problem, more sludge, oil, and all sorts of mess that we're gonna to have to work out how to clean up. But thankfully we have Louis, so when Louis's up and running, we can do it. But unfortunately, you can see down here, there's basically been a hose that has twinged itself, and we've now got some more hydraulic fluid leaking out, which is very much less than ideal. And we've even got a little bit of an oil spill going on which is, um, yeah, something that the pressure washer is helping with a little bit. But that's not all, because then we have Zach's little problem <laughs> with the Kuntash. Zach, tell us what's happened. Well, upon driving from mine to here, the car developed a slight misfire, which then obviously an hour and a half of driving worth of misfire, and fouled every single plug. So we managed to get almost all the plugs out of it and cleaned, but... He says we. Me. He's actually been working on his own Lamborghini, which is beyond epic. Kudos to you. <laughs> this is like really cool. You've actually just been digging in and pulling everything out and... and we haven't started it yet, so it's cool and until it runs. <laughs> well, hopefully, hopefully, that's going to be fine. That should start up, sound fantastic, and I will leave here very quickly so I can... And we'll all Make be smiling. Sure be we'll only have one breakdown to deal with because the other one will be completely fine. Do you know what? This, is, this day hasn't gone right at all because we've never had any issue or breakdown at the Schmuseum. But Zach's, I'm glad that Zach's garage has come Garrett to make another come. first. And we've had two firsts. Yeah, we've had the first piece of equipment and the first supercar. And I was the first Ferrari here. I was the first... There are probably street a few. Sweeper. <laughs> the first the and probably only street sweeper. Louis is the first Louis street sweeper. Louis is the first in the street sweeper, yeah. Yeah, oh, so... Um, but I'm leaving him in your capable hands. Once he's fixed, you know. <laughs> I love that the guys are out for having some exercise running around the van. It just fits in perfectly. Yeah, so hopefully you're going to be on the road fine. Hopefully somebody's going to get here. And we've, Even though it's late in the evening, we're having a, uh, a call out to try and get this fixed. And then hopefully we can get sweeping some floor and tidying everything up tonight or tomorrow or something. We'll have to see. I'm just looking forward to the videos you sent me, making sure it's actually working. I was. The stupid thing is, I was going to say, if you bend it, you mend it. But the problem is, I got in, I bent it, and now I've got to mend it. You were it. driving so it. Really he was driving it when it went yeah. wrong. We're safe. I'm safe. <laughs> Let's see what happens. It's time then to see if the Kuntash runs properly. You're going with headphones this time. Well, just so I can hear if anyone calls me. Makes sense. Right. Am I? Are you, is it going to fire up? Are you? We're about to find out. See if it works. Oh, you got a reversing camera. Ah, 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 ah. 
I can, I can see why you've got headphones. Yeah. It that might sounds be really good. I've done a good job on the car. <laughs> Nicely done, Zach. This is cool. Great yes, to mate. see you. I will see you a bit later. See you later, Louis. Really. Well done for being a legend and fixing this. We'll let you know how we get on with Louis. You know what's really cool, though? Have a look. Have a look. Hello. Hey, pop ups. Is that another first? The first set to get the first car to pop up headlights in? Yes, it is. It is. You right, win I'll again. See you later. <laughs> That's cool. That's really cool. All right. We'll see the Kuntash out. And then uh, it will be on to Louis. It does look cool. See ya. At least that's up and running. Now for us to work out what's happening with this. All. Yeah, this, this doesn't look good, does it? <laughs> the Kuntash sounds amazing. Right, let's um, have a quick pause and then we'll get to this. We've made some progress with Louis. We've got the guys from Hose Doctor that have come out to have a look and replace a split hose. It's now coming on for midnight, so it's another late night here at the Museum. But very shortly, this will be back up and running. And we can not clean tonight, but we can certainly start that in the morning. Unfortunately, this has not gone to plan. The floor sweeper does now have a new hose. The guy's got that installed, but there are lots of things about it that aren't working. So we now have some stains to clean up, a lot of sawdust, which is drying out some of the stains, and obviously we need to get that fixed. It feels like a long time ago that we started this morning with the Hurricane STO, took Brad out for a run, then returned it, then went down to Zach's garage, had a look around with Zach at the collection, went a little bit of off-road with the G63 and the buggy before we loaded that up, brought it back here, had the issues with the Kuntash, had issues with this, and now tried to get it fixed, and it's 2.40 in the morning. So that was quite a long day, a very eventful day. I hope you've enjoyed coming along with us. Let's just hope that it's not going to be too difficult to get this back up and running. But that's all for today at the Schmuseum.